just a few people that I make a difference in in your life and you're listening you know to me and uh, you believe in what I say you know and believe in the God that I serve the God that lives in me listen let me talk to y'all for just a second on this term of prejudice um, about prejudice prejudice I believe you know me myself that that is a decision it can somewhat be tied to a learned behavior as well too but at some point in time, it still becomes a decision. Um, so I'll explain. Learned behavior is um, what you teach your kids, what society teaches you when you're molded at a early, you know, at an infant stage of time in your life, something that is deposited on the inside of you that you really maybe have no choice as it relates to, you know, you really have no choice as it relates to it because it's something that you are taught. Uh, you don't know the difference. You don't know the other side of it. It's just something that you are taught. So, meaning, you know, you really, all you know is what has been given to you, what has been proposed to you. That's all you know. So that is a learned, you know, that is a learned behavior. So it can be something that comes out of a learned behavior. But as, now as, I'm going to Luke chapter 2 with that. You don't have to turn there, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in the stage of development. A learned behavior. The scripture talks about in Luke 2, when it makes reference to Jesus, it says, And the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit. So it means that there comes a period of time as to where there is a growth or a development. And in that stage of time, that could be where you are introduced to the other side of what you had been taught. I want y'all to, you know, go with me tonight. Let's think about it. We've been accused of not using our brain, but let's show them differently. Let's show them that we can use our brain. We do have one. So it is a learned it's a learned behavior. And so as you grow, you begin to be introduced to that, that you learned, you know, let's just say that you learn not to love. You become introduced to it. How can you become introduced? You can become introduced by um, going to school with that, that you were taught not to love, uh, getting a job. With that, that you were taught not to love, you know, um, sitting in a, in a restaurant eating with that, that you were taught not to love. And so the learned behavior now begins to be challenged. It begins to be challenged. And once it begins to be challenged, it then pushes you into the decision stage. Mm-hmm. It then pushes you into the decision. So now that you have seen both sides of the token, you now have a decision to make which side you choose to be, whether you want heads or tails, whatever, because you now have seen both sides of the coin or the token, as I said. You've seen both sides of it. So as it relates to prejudice, you know, just to, it's not, this is not the, um, this is not what I'm going to talk about tonight. I try to stay strictly, you know, based on what I need to, but these are elements of things that are going on in our world, in our society, in our communities, in our cities. We all are seeing and hearing concerning everything that is going on. Some people are literally experiencing it because it's happening in their places so this is a situation. Now, as far as my belief as it relates to prejudice, I believe that it is a decision. Whether it be learned, you know, a learned behavior at some point, it becomes challenged by that which is now made known unto you. A learned behavior. If you, you know, have y'all ever had, just think about it for a second. I wish I could come up with something in my head right quick. Something that you were taught and then you learn later that that didn't even go like that. Dang. All these years, I, that my, they taught me that that was like that, but it wasn't really like that. See, you were confronted with the opposite or the 
the whole troop of a thing. You were confronted with that. And so now you have to make a decision. You have to decide, am I going to stick with that learned behavior? Or am I going to go with what I know now is the truth? Well, that's the way I perceive being prejudiced. That is the way that I perceive it. That is my my meditation. That is my personal time with God in order to get some clear understanding. It is a decision, which now will bring me to this right here. Because it is a decision, it then is something that you have to decide to do or not to do. It's not something that you can spend all day long praying about but it is a decision because it is something that one makes a decision to do to think it is a decision so the same way the decision was made to be this way because everybody is at some point confronted with the other side of that that they have been that that you've been that you've learned that that has been taught to you there is some type of comfort some type of confrontation that teaches you the other side of it like if they said to you you know um don't like you know you were you were taught not to eat brussels sprouts well but then you grew up and you came in contact with some people that has some Brussels sprouts. And then they, you know, and they tell you, they tell, well, okay, these are good for you. Start telling you the benefiting factors of the Brussels sprouts. And then you have to make a decision to say like, oh, wow, well, hey, I heard that they wasn't good. You know, that's what I've heard all my life, that they were not good. And they be like, yes, they are good. Would you like to try them? And so then you try them. And then you realize that, hey, wow, these are good. So immediately the decision has to be made whether you're going to go with that that you have been taught all this time or are you going to now walk in the truth of what you know. Some people refuse to allow themselves to walk in the truth of what they know because they want to stay in that place. And when it gets to that, you have to know how to respect that. So you have to just know how to govern yourself accordingly. As it relates to that, you have to know how to do that. So it is a decision. And it's not something you can You can do that all day long. You can be on your knees about it all day long. It, 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 look, let me tell you something. It is a branch off of a root. It is not the root. It's a branch off of the root. That's why it is a learned behavior. And it is a decision. It is only a branch off of the root. The root of the problem is, is the lack of love. That is the root of the problem. The lack of love or the refusal to love and to love means to accept. You cannot have love without acceptance. If I say to you, I love you, then what I am saying to you is that I accept you. So if there is a denial of acceptance or a refusal of acceptance, then what I am saying is, is I don't love you. I don't love you. So the problem with prejudice is... Lack of love. The lack of love or the refusal of love. And so the prejudice now becomes a branch off of the root. So if you when you pray, pray about the root. We have a love issue in humanity. We have a love issue. Why do y'all think that Jesus, when he talked, that was the biggest thing he talked about, was love? He said, the greatest commandment of these is to love, see? Because he said, if you don't get that, 
then everything else is going to be thrown off sync. Everything else is going to be messed up. It is a love issue. So when you pray and say, you know, Lord, take this prayer. You know, you spend all the time you want to. Well, Lord, take this prejudice out of the, you know, just take it out of the world, God. Just say, stop these people from, from being prejudiced, God. And all that. You can say that all to you want to. You got to know what to pray about. How to effectively communicate. You got to always find the root of an issue in order for you to eliminate the problem. Get to the root. We have become people that love to mask things. We love to mask it. We don't want to deal with the root of it. And so we will know that we need to go get something fixed. But we'll say, nah, that's just all right. I'm just going to take me a couple of time. No. But you know for a fact that it is a major issue going on inside of your body. Sometimes we'll know exactly what it is. I already know what it is, honey. It, it's, it's my, I need to go have this surgery. That's what I should have been had this surgery on this hip right here. You know, um, they had told me back in 79 that this hip right here was out of joint. And I, I been knew that I needed to get this surgery on this hip. But um, what I decided that I'm going to do is, is I, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to just take these goodie powders, honey. Don't worry about it. Just go down there to the corner store, baby, and get me some goodie powders. See, we don't want to deal with the root of the issue. We want to mask it. We just want to mask it. And so whenever you are praying, you need to know how to effectively pray about some things. Pray about the root of what is going on. Even when, like for instance, I deal with people that have uh, drug addictions and all that. For some reason, I have been anointed in that arena. Just just really and truly, being honest with you, I've been anointed in that arena. They, you know, saying I have this thing with them and and all, you know, I, I, I pull up that come or whatever the case may be i worked in a rehab you know was hey phenomenally loved in that place and all still got people now that you know contact me about the things that you know i made a difference in their life with and all but this is the thing about it anytime i ever talked to them i did not talk to them about their drug use it was always let's find out what the root of this situation is because that's only a branch off of your tree. What is the root? And a lot of times you will find out that there were parent problems or whatever. There was uh, uh, molestations that took place. There was a, a sense of rejection, a parent not being there, all that type of stuff, some type of traumatic hurt a grandparent passing away that they loved so much and they resulted to drugs as an element of trying to numb themselves so that as long as i kept saying you know god i just thank you for delivering them from drugs god lord i just pray in the name of jesus i'm talking about getting in it honey oh this prayer you know how we can just get all into it and think we just in some cold intercession and ain't in nothing because we ain't got to the root of it the root of the situation is, is what happened? How did you get here? What brought you to this place that is dealing with the root of the situation? And when we learn to deal with the root of the situation, God help me, that's when we will see some changes concerning some things. When we learn to effectively communicate in the way that we are. It is so, it's so, you know, ironic, y'all. It, it, it's, it's something to me how... Uh, you, you have so much stuff that is taught, but people really need to know in full essence of about prayer. What happens with prayer? How there is an effective way to pray. Listen, I know they taught you that all you're supposed to do is just get on your knees and just talk to the Lord about it. And, and honey, the Lord will come through for you. You hear me, baby? I'm telling you, just tell God all about it and he going to fix it for you and all. And what about all those times you felt as though God didn't not fix it for you. What about those times that you were angry with God because it seemed as though God did not hear you? Well, some of it could have been possibly because it was not the right communication. It was not in the right form or context of how it should have been. And so therefore, the mark was missed in it. You know, how many times Jesus was so clear and so eloquent. I wasn't even going to do this tonight, but let me take y'all in here. Jesus was so clear and so eloquent when he 
he said these things. He said, listen, the disciples will teach us to pray. He comes to them and says, and when you pray, when you pray, he was given dialogue to say, okay, this is how this is done. This is the effective way to do